Connecticut CDL General Knowledge Test. Question 1. Which of these statements is not true about backing a heavy vehicle? You should back and turn toward the driver's side whenever possible. You should use a helper and communicate with hand signals. You should back slowly until you slightly bump into the dock. Answer you should back slowly until you slightly bump into the dock. Question 2. What is the minimum length for mad flaps? Within 10 inches of the surface of the road. Within 6 inches from the surface of the road. Within 8 inches of the surface of the road. Answer. Within 8 inches of the surface of the road. Question 3. Which of the following statements about backing is true? Both of the these are true. You should back and turn towards the driver's side whenever possible. Backing is always dangerous. Answer. Both of the these are true. Question 4. According to the driver's manual, why should you limit the use of your horn? The horn is not a good way to let others know you are there. It can startle other drivers. It wears down the battery. Answer. It can startle other drivers. Question 5. Which of these items is checked in a pre-trip inspection? Wiper blades. Whether all vehicle lights are working and clean. All of these answers are correct. Answer. All of these answers are correct. Question 6. Which of these statements about drinking alcohol is true? Not everyone who drinks is affected by alcohol. A few beers have the same effect on driving as a few shots of whiskey or a few glasses of wine. Coffee and fresh air will help a drinker sober up. Answer. A few beers have the same effect on driving as a few shots of whiskey or a few glasses of wine. Question 7. Which of these statements about staying alert to drive is true? A half hour break for coffee will do more to keep you alert than a half hour nap. Sleep is the only thing that can overcome fatigue. There are drugs that can overcome fatigue. Answer Sleep is the only thing that can overcome fatigue. Question 8. Underloaded front axles can cause the following. Too much play in the steering wheel. Both of these are true. Poor traction and damage to the tires. Answer. Both of these are true. Question 9. You do not have a hazardous materials endorsement on your commercial driver's license. You can drive a vehicle hauling hazardous materials when the cargo will be transported less than 100 miles. The vehicle does not require placards. A person who has the hazardous materials endorsement rides with you. Answer The vehicle does not require placards. 
Question 10. If you cannot see well with your headlights when driving in an area with few streetlights on a clear night, you should Turn your interior lights on Find another route that is better lit Use your high beams when legal and keep your interior light off Answer Use your high beams when legal and keep your interior light off. Question 11. How far ahead should you look? 15-30 seconds. 12-15 seconds. 5-10 seconds. Answer. 12-15 seconds. Question 12. You are driving a vehicle that could safely be driven at 55 miles per hour on an open road, but traffic is now heavy, moving at 35 miles per hour, although the speed limit is 55. The safest speed for your vehicle in this situation is most likely 35 miles per hour 45 miles per hour 40 miles per hour. Answer. 35 miles per hour. Question 13. You should signal continuously while turning because It is illegal to turn off your signal before completing a turn. Most vehicles have self-canceling signals. You need both hands on the wheel to turn safely. Answer It is illegal to turn off your signal before completing a turn. Question 14. Trucks and buses are subject to certain laws, restrictions, and regulations. Which of these statements is true? Laws and restrictions can vary from place to place. Federal regulations apply only to trucks and buses driven at least 50 miles on a trip. County and city laws do not apply to trucks and buses engaged in interstate commerce. Answer Laws and restrictions can vary from place to place. Question 15. You should try to park your vehicle so There is at least one curb next to your vehicle. Your vehicle is protected by trees or some overhang. You can pull forward when you leave. Answer You can pull forward when you leave. Question 16. If you do not have a CB radio, what is the first thing you should do at an accident scene? Protect the accident scene. Flag down help. Clear the area. Answer. Protect the accident scene. Question 17. Why put the starter key in your pocket during the pre-trip inspection? So you don't lose it. For your safety. So no one moves the vehicle. Answer. For your safety. Question 18. When backing, why is it important to use a helper? It's more fun when you have help. It makes people think you're a better driver. There are blind spots you can't see. Answer There are blind spots you can't see. 
Question 19, which of these is not something you should do if your headlights are not working properly? Adjust the headlights. Clean the headlights. Leave your high beams on. Answer. Leave your high beams on. Question 20. Which piece of emergency equipment should be in your vehicle? Warning devices for parked vehicles. Circuit breakers. First aid kit. Answer. Warning devices for parked vehicles. Question 21. What should the wheel bearing seals be checked for? Color of paint used on cover. Hub oil level and no leaks. Cleanliness. Answer. Hub oil level and no leaks. Question 22. You must inspect your cargo. Every 3 hours or 150 miles. Both of these answers are correct. After every break. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 23. Which of these is a good rule to follow when using a fire extinguisher? Stay downwind of the fire. Aim at the base of the fire. Keep as close to the fire as possible. Answer. Aim at the base of the fire. Question 24. You are driving a heavy vehicle and must exit a highway using an off-ramp that curves downhill. You should Slow down to the posted speed limit for the off-ramp. Slow down to a safe speed before taking the curve. Wait until you are in the curve before downshifting. Answer Slow down to a safe speed before taking the curve. Question 25. What is the proper way to hold the steering wheel? Firmly with one hand at the top of the wheel and the other hand at the bottom of the wheel. With your right hand on the wheel. Firmly with both hands on opposite sides of the wheel. Answer. Firmly with both hands on opposite sides of the wheel. Question 26. Which of these is not part of the pre-trip inspection of the engine compartment? Valve clearance. Condition of hoses. Worn electrical wiring insulation. Answer. Valve clearance. Question 27. Inspect your cargo after you have driven. 75 miles. 25 miles or 50 miles depending on the law and the state you are in, then again after 3 hours or after you have driven 150 miles and after every stop for a break. 150 miles. Answer. 25 miles or 50 miles depending on the law and the state you are in, then again after 3 hours or after you have driven 150 miles and after every stop for a break. Question 28. What three things add up to total stopping distance for your truck or bus? Perception distance, reaction distance, 
Breaking distance. Attention distance, reaction distance, slowing distance. Observation distance, reaction distance, breaking distance. Answer. Perception distance, reaction distance, breaking distance. Question 29. Which of these statements is true about warning other drivers of a stopped vehicle? Put out your emergency warning devices within 5 minutes. Move the rear reflective triangle back if the driver's vision is obscured to within 500 feet. Keep the vehicle's taillights on to warn other drivers. Answer. Move the rear reflective triangle back if the driver's vision is obscured to within 500 feet. Question 30. It is important to shift gears correctly to keep the engine warm, control of the vehicle, the engine oil flowing. Answer. Control of the vehicle. Question 31. Which piece of emergency equipment should be in your vehicle? Warning devices for parked vehicles. Circuit breakers. First aid kit. Answer. Warning devices for parked vehicles. Question 32. For your safety, when setting out reflective triangles you should Hold the triangles between yourself and oncoming traffic. Keep them out of sight while you walk to the spots where you set them out. Carry the triangles at your side. Answer. Hold the triangles between yourself and oncoming traffic. Question 33. Can federal inspectors inspect your truck or bus? Number. Yes, but they cannot place it out of service. Yes, and they can place it out of service. Answer. Yes, and they can place it out of service. Question 34. You should check the following for looseness, sticking, damage, or improper settings. Accelerator, brakes, and clutch pedals. Steering wheel and transmission controls. Both of these answers are correct. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 35. When a doctor prescribes medication for you and you know you will be driving, you should Ask the doctor if the medication will affect your ability to drive. Take the medication, as well as other medication to keep you alert. Take the medication, but stop taking it if you notice it is affecting your driving. Answer Ask the doctor if the medication will affect your ability to drive. Question 36 you are driving a 40-foot vehicle at 35 miles per hour. The road is dry, and visibility is good. What is the least amount of space you should keep in front of your vehicle to be safe? 6 seconds 4 seconds 2 seconds Answer 4 seconds
Question 37, how far ahead should you be looking while driving in town? Two blocks. As far ahead as you can see. One block. Answer. One block. Question 38. Your truck has a dual air system and one of the system loses its pressure. What will happen? Brake drums will not be fully pressurized. The manual slack adjusters of the S-cam brakes will not be set properly. Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Answer. Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Question 39. Turn signals should be used. At least 250 feet before turning or changing lanes. At least 100 feet before turning or changing lanes. At least 350 feet before turning or changing lanes. Answer. At least 100 feet before turning or changing lanes. Question 40. During a pre-trip inspection you discover an exhaust leak or power steering leak, you should Note the problem and continue your route. Go home because you shouldn't drive the vehicle this way. Report the problem and make arrangements for another vehicle to use. Answer Report the problem and make arrangements for another vehicle to use. Question 41. Which of these statements about downshifting for a long downhill grade is true? It allows engine compression and friction to help slow the vehicle. The proper time to downshift is just after the vehicle starts down the hill. It should not be done with automatic transmission. Answer It allows engine compression and friction to help slow the vehicle. Question 42. You are driving on a straight, level highway at 50 miles per hour. There are no vehicles in front of you. Suddenly a tire blows out on your vehicle. What should you do first? Begin control door stab braking. Stay off the brake until the vehicle slows down on its own. Begin light braking. Answer. Stay off the brake until the vehicle slows down on its own. Question 43. What effects can wet brakes cause? Your foot can get tired. Brakes can be weak to grab. Brakes to work better. Answer. Brakes can be weak to grab. Question 44. Which of these is not part of the pre-trip inspection of the engine compartment? Valve clearance. Worn electrical wiring insulation. Condition of hoses. Answer. Valve clearance. Question 45. To prevent brake fade you should Select a gear that will keep your vehicle to a safe speed on steep downgrades. Apply constant hard pressure on the brakes. Coast down hills that are not very steep inclines. Answer. 
select a gear that will keep your vehicle to a safe speed on steep downgrades. Question 46. Blocking your cargo to keep it from sliding must be done at the Cargo deck Front of a piece of cargo only Front, back, and, or sides of a piece of cargo Answer Front, back, and, or sides of a piece of cargo Question 47. Which of these is not required knowledge for drivers needing hazmat endorsement? When to use placards. Basic chemistry. Which products can be loaded together? Answer. Basic chemistry. Question 48. Why are placards used? So hazardous materials are not mixed with food. To communicate the risk. It is the law. Answer. To communicate the risk. Question 49. What are some advantages of going right instead of left around an obstacle? Someone may be passing to the left. Both answers are correct. You can avoid a head-on collision. Answer Both answers are correct. Question 50 what are two ways to know when to shift? Use your watch and engine sounds. Use engine speed, RPM, and road signs. Use engine speed, RPM, and use road speed, miles per hour. Answer Use engine speed, RPM, and use road speed miles per hour question 51 name some important steering system parts leaf spring vehicle frame and torque rod main spring axle and spring shackle tie rod spindle and pitman arm Answer Tie rod, spindle, and pitman arm Question 52. What three things related to cargo are the driver's responsibility? Inspecting the cargo, recognizing overloads, and properly securing the cargo Weighing the cargo, securing the cargo, and delivering the cargo Inspecting the cargo, hauling the cargo, and securing the cargo. Answer Inspecting the cargo, recognizing overloads, and properly securing the cargo. Question 53. What is counter-steering? Turning the wheel in a counterclockwise fashion. Turning the wheel back in the other direction after steering to avoid a traffic emergency. Steering in the opposite direction from what other drivers expect you to. Answer Turning the wheel back in the other direction after steering to avoid a traffic emergency. Question 54 which of these is true about hours of service? You should balance your hours of service with enough sleep to keep you alert. You must take a break after every two hours of driving. After 1000 hours of service you will be exempt from certain regulations.
Answer. You should balance your hours of service with enough sleep to keep you alert. Question 55. If you are convicted for driving under the influence while driving a commercial vehicle, and this is your first offense, you will most likely get at least a one-year suspension of your CDL, a fine of $500, probation for a period of one year. Answer. At least a one-year suspension of your CDL. Question 56. Dry bulk tanks and hanging meat. Do not require special care. Are unstable loads. Have low centers of gravity. Answer. Are unstable loads. Question 57. Where or when should you test the stopping action of your service brakes? When the vehicle is moving at about 5 miles per hour. In the parking lot when the vehicle is not moving. At a special brake testing center only. Answer. When the vehicle is moving at about 5 miles per hour. Question 58. If you are driving a long distance, you should Take a short break once or twice during the trip when you are feeling tired or drowsy. Avoid short breaks but keep the window open. Stop often and take short breaks before you feel really drowsy or tired. Answer Stop often and take short breaks before you feel really drowsy or tired. Question 59. Whether or not you load and secure your load yourself, you are responsible for Recognizing overloads and poorly balanced weight. Knowing your cargo is securely tied down and covered. Both answers are correct. Answer. Both answers are correct. Question 60. Which of these statements is not true about backing a heavy vehicle? You should back slowly until you slightly bump into the dock. You should back and turn toward the driver's side whenever possible. You should use a helper and communicate with hand signals. Answer. You should back slowly until you slightly bump into the dock. Question 61. Name some things you should check on the front of your vehicle during your pre-trip inspection. Oil, transmission, air compressor, and radiator. Windshield wipers, mirrors, and hood latches. Low beams, comma dot high beams, four-way flashers, and turn signals. Answer. Low beams, comma dot high beams, four-way flashers, and turn signals. Question 62. There are three types of the vehicle inspections. Which of these is one of them? En route, post-trip and pre-trip. All of these answers are correct. Answer. All of these answers are correct. Question 63. What should you do if you see a hazard in the roadway? Use your four-way flashers or brake lights to warn others.
swerve around it and get back into your lane. Stop quickly and pull to the side of the road. Answer Use your four-way flashers or brake lights to warn others. Question 64. Which of these statements is true about medicines used to treat the common cold? It can be used while driving as long as you only take half the regular dose. It should only be used when driving during the daytime. It often makes you sleepy thus should not be used while driving. Answer it often makes you sleepy thus should not be used while driving. Question 65. Measuring back, blood alcohol concentration, is done by measuring a person's Body weight Age Height Answer Body weight. Question 66. The best drivers are those who watch and prepare for hazards. This is called being defensive, objective, offensive. Answer Defensive. Question 67. Select the proper collision procedures that are required for any collision that you are involved in, in which you are not seriously injured. Protect the area and notify the authorities. Care for the injured and collect required information. All of these are required. Answer. All of these are required. Question 68. What should you do when your vehicle hydroplanes? Release the accelerator. Counter steer hard. Accelerate slightly. Answer. Release the accelerator. Question 69. When getting in to start the engine and inspect inside the cab you must. Both of these answers are correct. Make sure the parking brake is on and put the gear shift in neutral, or park if automatic. Start the engine and listen for unusual noises. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 70. What is your most valuable way to see the sides and rear? By looking out the window. Checking your mirrors regularly. Getting out and inspecting the areas. Answer. Checking your mirrors regularly. Question 71. Which of these is correct regarding brake shoes? Brake shoes should have the same thickness of a penny. Brake shoes should not be worn dangerously thin. Brake shoes should be larger than a quarter on the steering axle. Answer. Brake shoes should not be worn dangerously thin. Question 72. Which of these statements about using mirrors is true? You should check your mirrors twice for a lane change. You should look at a mirror for several seconds at a time. There are blind spots that your mirrors cannot show you. Answer. 
there are blind spots that your mirrors cannot show you. Question 73. Which of the following should you not do in the event of hydraulic brake failure? Shift up. Pump the brakes. Use the parking or emergency brake. Answer. Shift up. Question 74. When you are passing another vehicle, pedestrian, or bicyclist you should assume that they See you. Will move out of your lane of traffic. May move into your traffic lane. Answer. May move into your traffic lane. Question 75. What should you do if a car coming towards you at night keeps its high beams on? Slow down and look straight ahead in your lane. Flash your high beams at the other driver. Look to the right edge of your lane or the right edge of the road. Answer. Look to the right edge of your lane or the right edge of the road. Question 76. Which of these is the most important thing to remember about emergency braking? Disconnecting the steering axle brakes will help keep your vehicle in a straight line during emergency braking. Never do it without downshifting first. If the wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. Answer If the wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. Question 77. How can you avoid wet brake problems? Speed up or shift to a higher gear. Slow down. Shift to a low gear gently put on the brakes. Apply the brakes harder and faster. Answer Slow down, shift to a low gear gently put on the brakes. Question 78. What should wheel bearing seals be checked for? Leaks Gasoline. Color changes. Answer. Leaks. Question 79. When a vehicle is carrying a load at night, which extends four feet or more beyond the rear of the body, there must be at the extreme end of the load. Three red flags. One large red flag. Two red lights. Answer. Two red lights. Question 80. If your vehicle catches fire while you are driving, you should Increase your speed to put out the flames. Park where a building or trees shelter your vehicle from the wind. Park in an open area. Answer. Park in an open area. Question 81. Which of these things is a good thing to do when steering to avoid a crash? Do not turn any more than needed to clear what is in your way. Apply the brakes while turning. Steer with one hand so that you can turn the wheel more quickly. Answer Do not turn any more than needed to clear what is in your way. Question 82 there are three types of a vehicle inspections, 
Which of these is one of them? En route. Post trip and pre trip. All of these answers are correct. Answer. All of these answers are correct. Question 83. Your vehicle has hydraulic brakes. When traveling on a level road, you press the brake pedal and find that it goes to the floor. Which of these statements is true? Pumping the brake will generate enough pressure to stop the vehicle. Shifting into neutral will help slow the vehicle. The parking brake will not work because it is part of the same hydraulic system. Answer Pumping the brake will generate enough pressure to stop the vehicle. Question 84 While driving, you see a small, one foot square, cardboard box ahead in your lane. You should Steer around it without making a sudden or unsafe move. Hit it with your vehicle to knock it off the road. Brake hard to avoid hitting it. Answer Steer around it without making a sudden or unsafe move. Question 85 to help you stay alert while driving, you should Schedule trips for hours you are normally asleep. Take short breaks before you get drowsy. Take cold medicine, if you have a cold. Answer Take short breaks before you get drowsy. Question 86. Hydroplaning Is more likely when the tire pressure is low. Cannot occur when driving through a puddle. Only occurs at speeds above 50 miles per hour. Answer Is more likely when the tire pressure is low. Question 87. To prevent skidding, you should Turn the wheel sharply for all turns. Adjust to conditions while driving. Brake hard at all stops. Answer Adjust to conditions while driving. Question 88. Which of the following best describes how sleep debt can be paid off? It can only be paid off by sleeping. Overcome it with willpower and non-sleep aids. It will go away by itself over a period of time. Answer It can only be paid off by sleeping. Question 89. Which of these statements about certain types of cargo is true? When liquids are hauled, the tank should always be loaded completely full. Oversized loads can be hauled without special permits during daylight hours. Unstable loads such as hanging meat or livestock require extra caution on curves. Answer. Unstable loads such as hanging meat or livestock require extra caution on curves. Question 90. The distance your vehicle travels from the time your eyes see a hazard until your brain recognizes it is called distance. Braking. Reaction. Perception. Answer Perception Question 91 
you are driving a 40-foot vehicle at 50 miles per hour driving conditions are ideal, dry pavement, good visibility. What is the least amount of space that you should keep in front of your vehicle to be safe? 5 seconds 3 seconds 4 seconds Answer 5 seconds Question 92. How can you avoid the effects that wet brakes can cause? Gently put on the brakes and increase engine RPM. Cross the water while keeping light pressure on the brakes. Both of these answers are correct. Slow down and place the transmission in low gear. Answer both of these answers are correct. Question 93. When a doctor prescribes medication for you and you know you will be driving, you should Take the medication, but stop taking it if you notice it is affecting your driving. Take the medication, as well as other medication to keep you alert. Ask the doctor if the medication will affect your ability to drive. Answer Ask the doctor if the medication will affect your ability to drive. Question 94. While driving, you should use your mirrors to check. Your blind spots only. If your running lights are working properly, where the rear of your vehicle is while you make turns. Answer Where the rear of your vehicle is while you make turns. Question 95 Your vehicle has hydraulic brakes. When traveling on a level road, you press the brake pedal and find that it goes to the floor. Which of these statements is true? The parking brake will not work because it is part of the same hydraulic system. Pumping the brake will generate enough pressure to stop the vehicle. Shifting into neutral will help slow the vehicle. Answer Pumping the brake will generate enough pressure to stop the vehicle. Question 96. Stab braking should not be used on vehicles with Anti-lock brakes Air brakes Spring brakes Answer Anti-lock brakes Question 97. Which of these statements about cargo loading is true? State laws dictate legal weight limits. The legal maximum weight allowed by a state can be considered safe for all driving conditions. If the shipper loads the cargo, the driver is not responsible for overloading. Answer State laws dictate legal weight limits. Question 98. Can federal inspectors inspect your truck or bus? Yes, but they cannot place it out of service. Yes, and they can place it out of service. Number Answer Yes, and they can place it out of service. Question 99. When you drive in the mountains, you will have to use lower gears to drive safely down grades. Which of these does not affect your choice of gears? Length of the grade Weight of the load Tire tread type 
Answer. Tire tread type. Question 100. When checking the bus seats, what are you looking for? To ensure they are securely fastened to the bus. To see if they have been removed. Both of these answers are correct. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 101. What is the most important reason for doing a vehicle inspection? Both answers are correct. Federal and state regulations require you to inspect your vehicle. A vehicle defect found during inspection can save you problems later. Answer Both answers are correct. Question 102. Which of these statements is true about other drivers? Short-term or daily rental truck drivers are often not used to the limited vision and pose a hazard. Mail or delivery truck drivers did not pose a hazard. Drivers using turn signals can be trusted to turn in the direction they indicate. Answer. Short-term or daily rental truck drivers are often not used to the limited vision and pose a hazard. Question 103. Converter dollies built on or after March 1, 1998 are required to have anti-lock brakes. These dollies will have A yellow malfunction lamp in the center of the dolly. A yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly. A yellow malfunction lamp on the right side of the dolly. Answer A yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly. Question 104 Which of these statements about using turn signals is true? You do not need to use your turn signal when changing lanes in traffic on a four-lane highway. You should use your turn signal to mark your vehicle when it is pulled off on the side of the road. When turning, you should signal early. Answer When turning, you should signal early. Question 105. An en route inspection should include checking Cargo doors and, or cargo securement Tire temperature All of these should be checked. Answer All of these should be checked. Question 106. Which of the following should you not do in the event of hydraulic brake failure? Pump the brakes. Shift up. Use the parking or emergency brake. Answer. Shift up. Question 107. Stab braking Involves steady pressure on the brake pedal without locking the wheels. Involves releasing the brakes only after the wheels lock up. Should never be used. Answer Involves releasing the brakes only after the wheels lock up. Question 108. What should you do if you get stuck on the railroad tracks? Get out of your vehicle and away from the tracks. Scream for help. Stay in your vehicle.
Answer. Get out of your vehicle and away from the tracks. Question 109. Can federal inspectors inspect your truck or bus? Number. Yes, but they cannot place it out of service. Yes, and they can place it out of service. Answer. Yes, and they can place it out of service. Question 110. As the blood alcohol concentration, back, goes up, what happens? The drinker can sober up in less time. The drinker more dearly sees how alcohol is affecting him, her. Judgment and self-control are affected. Answer. Judgment and self-control are affected. Question 111. If you are being tailgated, you should Signal the tailgater when it is safe to pass you. Increase your following distance. Flash your brake lights. Answer. Increase your following distance. Question 112. Cargo covers. Protect people from spilled cargo. May be a safety requirement in some states. Both of the answers. Answer. Both of the answers. Question 113. How do you calculate how many seconds of following distance space you have? Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark, then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot. Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark, then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot, then multiply your figure by 2. Divide your speed by 4 and add 1 second for every 10 feet of trailer you are hauling. Answer Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark, then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot. Question 114 when looking ahead of your vehicle while driving you should look to the right side of the road as far as your peripheral vision can see back and forth near and far answer back and forth near and far question 115 when checking lights you should Both of these answers are correct. Turn on the headlights and four-way flashers. Turn off the engine and take the key with you. Answer Both of these answers are correct. Question 116 which of these statements about speed management is true? When you double your speed, go twice as fast, it will take twice the distance to stop. Empty trucks always stop in shorter distance than fully loaded ones. You should choose a speed that lets you stop within the distance that you can see ahead. Answer you should choose a speed that lets you stop within the distance that you can see ahead. Question 117. If you are convicted for driving under the influence while driving a commercial vehicle, and this is your first offense, you will most likely get 
probation for a period of one year. A fine of $500. At least a one year suspension of your CDL. Answer At least a one year suspension of your CDL. Question 118. You should avoid driving through deep puddles or flowing water but if you cannot, which of these steps can help keep your brakes working? Turning on your brake heaters. Gently putting on the brakes while driving through the water. Pressing both the brake pedal and the accelerator firmly after coming out of the water. Answer. Gently putting on the brakes while driving through the water. Question 119. Which of the following statements about backing is true? You should back and turn towards the driver's side whenever possible. Backing is always dangerous. Both of the these are true. Answer. Both of the these are true. Question 120. Which of the following statements is true? Most people are more alert at night than during the day. Most hazards are more easily seen at night than during the day. Many heavy vehicle accidents occur between midnight and 6 a.m. Answer. Many heavy vehicle accidents occur between midnight and 6 a.m. Question 121. You are driving a new truck with a manual transmission. What gear will you probably have to use to take a long, steep downhill grade? The same gear you would use to climb the hill. A lower gear than you would use to climb the hill. Shift into neutral and coast. Answer. A lower gear than you would use to climb the hill. Question 122. Which of these statements is true about vehicle fires? If the cargo or box trailer catches on fire, open the doors as soon as you can. If your engine is on fire, open the hood as soon as you can. A burning tire should be cooled with water. Answer A burning tire should be cooled with water. Question 123. If you are driving a long distance, you should Avoid short breaks but keep the window open. Take a short break once or twice during the trip when you are feeling tired or drowsy. Stop often and take short breaks before you feel really drowsy or tired. Answer Stop often and take short breaks before you feel really drowsy or tired. Question 124. You are checking your wheels and rims for a pre-trip inspection. Which of these statements is true? A vehicle can be safely driven with one missing lug nut on a wheel. Cracked wheels or rims can be used if they have been welded. Rust around lug nuts may mean that they are loose. Answer Rust around lug nuts may mean that they are loose. Question 125. When backing, why is it important to use a helper? It makes people think you are a better driver. It's more fun when you have help. There are blind spots you can't see. 
Answer. There are blind spots you can't see. Question 126. The new back, blood alcohol concentration, for commercial drivers to be considered intoxicated when driving a commercial vehicle is 0.02 0.04 Answer 0.04 Question 127 There are three types of a vehicle inspections, which of these is one of them? En route Post trip and pre trip. All of these answers are correct. Answer All of these answers are correct. Question 128 For an average commercial vehicle being driven at 55 miles per hour on dry pavement, it will take about to bring the vehicle to stop. Twice the length of the vehicle. The length of a football field, 300 feet. Half the length of a football field, 150 feet. Answer. The length of a football field, 300 feet. Question 129. Bridge formula is permit. The same maximum axle weight for any axle spacing. Less maximum axle weight for axles that are far apart. Less maximum axle weight for axles that are close together. Answer. Less maximum axle weight for axles that are close together. Question 130. If you need to leave the road in a traffic emergency, you should Try to get all wheels off the pavement. Avoid braking until your speed has dropped to about 20 miles per hour. Tap repeatedly on the brakes. Answer. Avoid braking until your speed has dropped to about 20 miles per hour. Question 131. One can recognize hazardous materials by looking at the containers. Shape. Color. Label. Answer. Label. Question 132. What is a hazard? Any road condition or other road user that is a possible danger. A flashing amber light. A small animal. Answer. Any road condition or other road user that is a possible danger. Question 133. You are starting your vehicle from a stop. As you apply power to the driver wheels, they start to spin. You should Take your foot off the accelerator. Press harder on the accelerator. Try a lower gear. Answer. Take your foot off the accelerator. Question 134. With the back of, most people lose consciousness, and some die. 0 0.16 0 0.17 0.4 Answer 
Question 135, what items should be checked for safety on the steering column? Up to one-fourth of the steering parts may be broken. Steering arms should not have missing nut, bolts or cotter keys. Steering arms should not have mismatched, bent or cracked lug nuts. Answer Steering arms should not have missing nut, bolts or cotter keys. Question 136 Bridge formula is permit. The same maximum axle weight for any axle spacing. Less maximum axle weight for axles that are far apart. Less maximum axle weight for axles that are close together. Answer Less maximum axle weight for axles that are close together. Question 137, what is a pull-up? Pulling forward while backing a trailer to reposition it. A maneuver performed by a tow truck to pick up an overturned truck. When pulling off the shoulder you pull up until the trailer is straight. Answer Pulling forward while backing a trailer to reposition it. Question 138, a driver's trip log if required. May be written in pencil. May be brought up to date once a week. Must be shown immediately when an officer requests it. Answer. Must be shown immediately when an officer requests it. Question 139, cargo that can shift should have at least tied ounces. 1, 2, 3. Answer. 2. Question 140. Which of these statements about downshifting for a long downhill grade is true? The proper time to downshift is just after the vehicle starts down the hill. It allows engine compression and friction to help the brakes slow the vehicle. It should not be done with automatic transmissions. Answer it allows engine compression and friction to help the brakes slow the vehicle. Question 141. Which item below lists almost all or all the emergency equipment that is required on a school bus? A can of brake fluid, flashlight, and a new bottle of window washer fluid. A crowbar and a fire extinguisher only. A fire extinguisher, flashlight, fuses, electrical fuses, if your vehicle uses them, a crowbar, emergency triangles, and a first aid kit, with an emergency medical card for each student inside the first aid kit. Answer A fire extinguisher flashlight, fuses, electrical fuses, if your vehicle uses them, a crowbar, emergency triangles, and a first aid kit, with an emergency medical card for each student inside the first aid kit. Question 142. The total weight of the powered unit, the trailer, and the cargo is called? Gross axle weight. Gross vehicle weight. Gross combination weight. Answer. Gross combination weight. 
Question 143. How far can the Board of Education make a student walk to their assigned pick-up location? One half mile. 150 yards. 250 yards. Answer. One half mile. Question 144. During a pre-trip inspection you discover an exhaust leak or power steering leak. You should Note the problem and continue your route. Report the problem and make arrangements for another vehicle to use. Go home because you shouldn't drive the vehicle this way. Answer Report the problem and make arrangements for another vehicle to use. Question 145. Tie-downs must be of proper type and strength. The combined strength of cargo tie-downs must be strong enough to lift. Twice the weight of the cargo tie-down. One and one-half times the weight of the cargo tie-down. Three times the weight of the cargo tied down. Answer One and one half times the weight of the cargo tied down. Question 146 Which of the following best describes how sleep debt can be paid off? It will go away by itself over a period of time. Overcome it with willpower and non-sleep aids. It can only be paid off by sleeping. Answer It can only be paid off by sleeping. Question 147. Overloading can have a bad effect on Speed control both of these are true. Staring. Answer. Both of these are true. Question 148. Medical certificates must be renewed every two years, four years, nine months. Answer. Two years. Question 149. You are driving a new truck with a manual transmission. What gear will you probably have to use to take a long, steep downhill grade? Shift into neutral and coast. The same gear you would use to climb the hill. A lower gear than you would use to climb the hill. Answer. A lower gear than you would use to climb the hill. Question 150. No matter how small the cargo is, it should have at least one tie down, six tie downs. Two tie downs. Answer Two tie downs. Question 151 When you are passing another vehicle, pedestrian, or bicyclist, you should assume that they see you may move into your traffic lane. We'll move out of your lane of traffic. Answer. May move into your traffic lane. Question 152. Which of these statements about double clutching and shifting is true? Double clutching should only be used with a heavy load. 
Double clutching should not be used when the road is slippery. You can use the tachometer to tell you when to shift. Answer You can use the tachometer to tell you when to shift. Question 153. You should schedule your driving. Between the hours of 4 a.m. and 6 p.m. Between the hours of 10 a.m. and midnight. For the hours you are normally awake. Answer. For the hours you are normally awake. Question 154. Which of these statements about speed management is true? When you double your speed, go twice as fast, it will take twice the distance to stop. Empty trucks always stop in shorter distance than fully loaded ones. You should choose a speed that lets you stop within the distance that you can see ahead. Answer. You should choose a speed that lets you stop within the distance that you can see ahead. Question 155. While driving, you should use your mirrors to check. If your running lights are working properly. Where the rear of your vehicle is while you make turns. Your blind spots only. Answer. Where the rear of your vehicle is while you make turns. Question 156. Which of these statements is true about speed management? Shady parts of the road allow better traction than open areas. Road surfaces will freeze before bridges. On slippery roads. It takes longer to stop and is harder to turn without skidding. Answer On slippery roads, it takes longer to stop and is harder to turn without skidding. Question 157 Which of these statements about engine overheating is true? If your engine overheats within 20 miles of the end of your trip, you should complete the trip and then check the problem. You should never remove the radiator cap on a pressurized system until the system has cooled. You should never shut off an overheated engine until it cools. Answer you should never remove the radiator cap on a pressurized system until the system has cooled. Question 158. Which of these statements about downshifting for a long downhill grade is true? The proper time to downshift is just after the vehicle starts down the hill. It should not be done with automatic transmission. It allows engine compression and friction to help slow the vehicle. Answer It allows engine compression and friction to help slow the vehicle. Question 159. What will help keep an engine cool in hot weather? Making sure the engine has the right amount of oil. Driving faster to force more air into the radiator. Running the air conditioner. Answer Making sure the engine has the right amount of oil. Question 160. Which of these is a good thing to do when driving at night? Drive slowly enough to stop within the range of your headlights. Look directly at oncoming headlights only briefly. 
Keep your instrument lights bright. Answer. Drive slowly enough to stop within the range of your headlights. Question 161. Which of the following statements about tank vehicles is true? The term tank vehicle refers only to those vehicles having a permanently attached tank. All tank vehicles have some sort of bulkhead or a baffle. Special skills are required to haul liquid tanks. Answer Special skills are required to haul liquid tanks. Question 162. Which of these is a proper use of vehicle lights and flashers? Flashing your brake lights to warn someone behind you of a hazard that will require slowing down. Flashing your brake lights to warn someone behind you that you are going to stop on the road. All of these are correct. Answer All of these are correct. Question 163 How do you calculate how many seconds of following distance space you have? Divide your speed by far and add one second for every 10 feet of trailer you are hauling. Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark, then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot. Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark, then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot, then multiply your figure by 2. Answer Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark. Then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot. Question 164. If your vehicle catches fire while you are driving, you should Park in an open area. Park where a building or trees shelter your vehicle from the wind. Increase your speed to put out the flames. Answer Park in an open area Question 165 You are driving a 40-foot vehicle at 50 miles per hour Driving conditions are ideal Dry pavement, good visibility What is the least amount of space that you should keep in front of your vehicle to be safe? 5 seconds 3 seconds 4 seconds Answer 5 seconds Question 166 Which of these statements about tires and hot weather driving is true? If a tire is too hot to touch, you should drive on it to cool it off. You should inspect your tires every 2 hours or every 100 miles when driving in very hot weather. The air pressure of a tire decreases as the temperature of the tire increases. Answer You should inspect your tires every 2 hours or every 100 miles when driving in very hot weather. Question 167. In your mirror you see a car approaching from the rear. The next time you check your mirror you don't see the car. To change lanes you should Wait until you are sure the car isn't in your blind spot. Assume the car left the roadway and change lanes as normal. Ease into the other lane slowly so the other car can get out of the way. Answer Wait until you are sure the car isn't in your blind spot.
Question 168. Axle weight means the following. The weight transmitted to the ground by one axle or one set of axles. Both of these are correct. The weight transmitted to the tires from the axle. Answer. The weight transmitted to the ground by one axle or one set of axles. Question 169. Why put the starter key in your pocket during the pre-trip inspection? For your safety. So no one moves the vehicle. So you don't lose it. Answer. For your safety. Question 170. Which of these is good thing to remember about drinking alcohol? The driver can control how quickly the body rids itself of alcohol. Alcohol first affects judgment and self-control. Small quantities of alcohol can improve reaction time. Answer Alcohol first affects judgment and self-control. Question 171. To prevent skidding, you should Adjust to conditions while driving. Turn the wheel sharply for all turns. Brake hard at all stops. Answer Adjust to conditions while driving. Question 172. How many red reflective triangles should you carry? 3 1 4 Answer 3 Question 173. You are driving in the right lane of a four-lane, undivided road. You come over a hill and find a car stopped ahead in your lane. You do not have room to stop. The hill blocks your view to the rear. The shoulder is clear. Which of these is most likely the best action to take? Steer into the left lane. Steer to the right. Use hard braking and brace for collision. Answer Steer to the right. Question 174 What is the proper way to hold the steering wheel? With your right hand on the wheel. Firmly with one hand at the top of the wheel and the other hand at the bottom of the wheel. Firmly with both hands on opposite sides of the wheel. Answer Firmly with both hands on opposite sides of the wheel. Question 175 What effects can wet brakes cause? Brakes to work better. Your foot can get tired. Brakes can be weak to grab. Answer Brakes can be weak to grab. Question 176 When driving through roadway work zones, you should Turn on your parking lights. Reduce speed only if workers are close to the roadway. Watch for sharp pavement drop-offs. Answer Watch for sharp pavement drop-offs. Question 177 To prevent a load from shifting, there should be at least one tie-down for every
feet of cargo. 15 7 10 Answer 10 Question 178 What effects can wet brakes cause? Brakes to work better. Your foot can get tired. Brakes can be weak to grab. Answer Brakes can be weak to grab. Question 179 Which of these statements about staying alert to drive is true? There are drugs that can overcome fatigue. Sleep is the only thing that can overcome fatigue. A half hour break for coffee will do more to keep you alert than a half hour nap. Answer Sleep is the only thing that can overcome fatigue. Question 180 The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on The legal weight limits The amount of liquid will expand in transit All of these are correct Answer All of these are correct Question 181 you should check the following for looseness, sticking, damage, or improper settings. Accelerator, brakes, and clutch pedals. Both of these answers are correct. Steering wheel and transmission controls. Answer Both of these answers are correct. Question 182. You should try to park your vehicle so. There is at least one curb next to your vehicle. Your vehicle is protected by trees or some overhang. You can pull forward when you leave. Answer. You can pull forward when you leave. Question 183. Cargo covers May be a safety requirement in some states. Both of the answers. Protect people from spilled cargo. Answer Both of the answers. Question 184. Which of these is not a good rule to follow when caring for injured at an accident scene? Keep injured persons cool. If a qualified person is helping them, stay out of the way unless asked to assist. Move severely injured persons if there is a danger due to fire or passing traffic. Answer Keep injured persons cool. Question 185. When should you downshift automatic transmissions? When going up grades. When going down grades. When going around curves. Answer. When going down grades. Question 186. Implied consent means when you sign the driver's license application form, you Understand that you may drink alcohol now before driving. Give your consent for your vehicle to be inspected for alcohol. Give your consent to be tested for alcohol in your blood. Answer 
Give your consent to be tested for alcohol in your blood. Question 187. Prior to driving, what are some of the items you should check the interior of the bus for? School books and student belongings. Both of these answers are correct. Trash and clothing. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 188. What is a pull-up? A maneuver performed by a tow truck to pick up an overturned truck. When pulling off the shoulder you pull up until the trailer is straight. Pulling forward while backing the trailer to reposition it. Answer. Pulling forward while backing the trailer to reposition it. Question 189. To avoid a crash, you had to drive onto the right shoulder. You are now driving at 40 miles per hour on the shoulder. How should you move back onto the pavement? Brake hard to slow the vehicle, then steer sharply onto the pavement. Come to a complete stop, if possible, before steering back onto the pavement. Keep moving at the present speed and steer very gently back onto the pavement. Answer Come to a complete stop, if possible, before steering back onto the pavement. Question 190. Heavy vehicles must sometimes travel more slowly than other traffic. Which of these is not a good rule to follow when you are driving such a vehicle? Signal other drivers when it is safe for them to pass you. Stay to the right. Turn on your flashers if it is legal to do so. Answer. Signal other drivers when it is safe for them to pass you. Question 191. What is the definition of sleep debt? The money you owe hotels after resting there. The cumulative effect of not getting enough sleep. The amount of sleep you get each day. Answer. The cumulative effect of not getting enough sleep. Question 192. When taking a break in the middle of your trip you should check. Critical items such as, tires, brakes, and cargo tie-downs. Critical items, windshield wiper blades, heater, and defroster. Call in and check with dispatch. Answer Critical items such as, tires, brakes, and cargo tie-downs. Question 193. Containerized loads Should come with their own tie-down devices. Do not need to be inspected or secured by the driver. Are generally used for freight carried partway by rail or ship. Answer Are generally used for freight carried partway by rail or ship. Question 194 Converter dollies built on or after March 1, 1998 are required to have anti-lock brakes. These dollies will have A yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly A yellow malfunction lamp on the right side of the dolly A yellow malfunction lamp in the center of the dolly Answer 
a yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly. Question 195. With the back of, most people lose consciousness, and some die. 0 0.1 0 0.16 0 0.4 Answer 0 0.4 Question 196. If you must stop on a hill in a two-way, two-lane road, how far back should you place your reflective triangles? Within 100 feet behind the vehicle. Within 500 feet behind the vehicle. Within 250 feet behind the vehicle. Answer. Within 500 feet behind the vehicle. Question 197. Which of these statements about cargo loading is true? If the shipper loads the cargo, the driver is not responsible for overloading. The legal maximum weight allowed by a state can be considered safe for all driving conditions. State laws dictate legal weight limits. Answer State laws dictate legal weight limits. Question 198. Cargo inspections Are needed only if hazardous materials are being hauled are most often not the responsibilities of the driver. Should be performed as part of your pre-trip inspection, again within the first 50 miles of your trip, then again after you have driven 3 hours or 150 miles, and after every break you take during driving. Answer Should be performed as part of your pre-trip inspection, Again within the first 50 miles of your trip, then again after you have driven 3 hours or 150 miles, and after every break you take during driving. Question 199. Which of the following cannot be checked at the same time? Brake light, turn signal and 4-way flasher functions. Brake lights and red reflectors, on rear. Headlights and amber reflectors. Answer Brake light, turn signal and 4-way flasher functions. Question 200. Whether or not you load and secure your load yourself, you are responsible for. Knowing your cargo is securely tied down and covered. Recognizing overloads and poorly balanced weight. Both answers are correct. Answer Both answers are correct. Question 201. Turn signals should be used. At least 250 feet before turning or changing lanes. At least 100 feet before turning or changing lanes. At least 350 feet before turning or changing lanes. Answer At least 100 feet before turning or changing lanes. Question 202. If you need to leave the road in a traffic emergency, you should Avoid braking until your speed has dropped to about 20 miles per hour. Tap repeatedly on the brakes. Try to get all wheels off the pavement. Answer 
Avoid braking until your speed has dropped to about 20 miles per hour. Question 203. The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on The amount of liquid will expand in transit The legal weight limits All of these are correct Answer All of these are correct Question 204 Name two situations where legal maximum weights may not be safe to haul. At night or during heavy traffic. Through tunnels and over bridges. During bad weather or in mountains. Answer. During bad weather or in mountains. Question 205. Which of these statements about speed management is true? Both of these answers are true. On packed snow, you should reduce your speed by about one half. On a wet road, you should reduce your speed by about one third. Answer. Both of these answers are true. Question 206. On which fires can you use the ABC fire extinguisher? Electrical fires. Burning tires or cloth. All of these are correct. Answer. All of these are correct. Question 207. Overloading can have a bad effect on Steering Speed control Both of these are true Answer Both of these are true Question 208 Which of these is true about the radiator shutters and the window front? You should remove ice from the radiator shutters. The engine may overheat if the winter front is left open. The winter front should be closed tightly. Answer You should remove ice from the radiator shutters. Question 209 which of these is not something you should do if your headlights are not working properly? Adjust the headlights. Leave your high beams on. Clean the headlights. Answer. Leave your high beams on. Question 210. Stab braking should not be used on vehicles with Spring brakes Air brakes Anti-lock brakes Answer Anti-lock brakes Question 211 is it legal to drive with one-fourth of a vehicle's leaf springs broken or missing? It doesn't make any difference as long as you go the speed limit. Yes. Number. Answer. Number. Question 212. The distance you should look ahead while driving at highway speeds. One fourth mile, one half mile, one eighth mile. Answer One fourth mile. 
Question 213, which of these is a danger of crossing railroad tracks on dirt roads? You could get hung up halfway across the tracks. Your tires could sink into the dirt and not cross the tracks. The ground underneath the tracks may not be stable. Answer You could get hung up halfway across the tracks. Question 214 Which of these statements about cold weather driving is true? An engine cannot overheat when the weather is very cold. Exhaust system leaks are less dangerous in cold weather. Windshield washer and to freeze should be used. Answer Windshield washer and to freeze should be used. Question 215 which of these statements about tires and hot weather driving is true? You should inspect your tires every 2 hours or every 100 miles when driving in very hot weather. If a tire is too hot to touch, you should drive on it to cool it off. The air pressure of a tire decreases as the temperature of the tire increases. Answer. You should inspect your tires every 2 hours or every 100 miles when driving in very hot weather. Question 216. Which of these statements is true about brakes? Brakes absorb more heat to stop heavier vehicles. Brake drums cool very quickly when the vehicle is moving very fast. Brake fade is not caused by heat. Answer Brakes absorb more heat to stop heavier vehicles. Question 217 When a doctor prescribes medication for you and you know you will be driving, you should Take the medication as well as other medication to keep you alert. Ask the doctor if the medication will affect your ability to drive. Take the medication, but stop taking it if you notice it is affecting your driving. Answer Ask the doctor if the medication will affect your ability to drive. Question 218. A driver's trip log if required. May be brought up to date once a week. Must be shown immediately when an officer requests it. May be written in pencil. Answer. Must be shown immediately when an officer requests it. Question 219. Name some suspension system defects. Leaking shock absorbers. Broken leaves in leaf spring and cracked or broken spring hanger. Both of the answers are correct. Answer. Both of the answers are correct. Question 220. The best drivers are those who watch and prepare for hazards. This is called being Defensive Offensive Objective Answer Defensive Question 221. Turn signals should be used at least 350 feet before turning or changing lanes. At least 250 feet before turning or changing lanes. 
at least 100 feet before turning or changing lanes. Answer At least 100 feet before turning or changing lanes. Question 222. Retarders Can cause the drive wheels to skid when they have poor traction. Allow you to disconnect the steering axle brakes. Cause extra brake wear. Answer Can cause the drive wheels to skid when they have poor traction. Question 223. Optional safety equipment may include emergency phone numbers, tire chains, and Tire changing equipment Charged fire extinguisher Red reflective triangles Answer Tire changing equipment Question 224. Which of these statements is true about vehicle fires? If the cargo or box trailer catches on fire, open the doors as soon as you can. If your engine is on fire, open the hood as soon as you can. A burning tire should be cooled with water. Answer A burning tire should be cooled with water. Question 225. When a vehicle is carrying a load at night, which extends 4 feet or more beyond the rear of the body, there must be at the extreme end of the load. Three red flags. One large red flag. Two red lights. Answer. Two red lights. Question 226. You should back and turn toward the driver's side. So you can watch the rear of the vehicle by looking out the side window. Unless you would have to drive around the block first. If you do not have someone to help you. Answer. So you can watch the rear of the vehicle by looking out the side window. Question 227. Which of the following does not provide extra gears on some trucks? Multi-speed rear axles. Auxiliary transmissions. Automatic transmissions. Answer Automatic transmissions Question 228. Which of these is especially true about your tires in hot weather? You should check tire mounting and air pressure before driving. A small amount of air should be let out to keep air pressure steady. If a tire is too hot to touch, you should hose it down with water. Answer You should check tire mounting and air pressure before driving. Question 229 You do not have a hazardous materials endorsement on your commercial driver's license. You can drive a vehicle hauling hazardous materials when the vehicle does not require placards. The cargo will be transported less than 100 miles. A person who has the hazardous materials endorsement rides with you. Answer The vehicle does not require placards. Question 230. Your vehicle has hydraulic brakes. 
When traveling on a level road, you press the brake pedal and find that it goes to the floor. Which of these statements is true? Shifting into neutral will help slow the vehicle. Pumping the brake will generate enough pressure to stop the vehicle. The parking brake will not work because it is part of the same hydraulic system. Answer Pumping the brake will generate enough pressure to stop the vehicle. Question 231 Which of these statements is true about bad weather driving conditions? The road becomes more slippery as rain continues than when the rain began. When the temperature drops, bridges will freeze before roadways. Driving conditions become more dangerous as the temperature rises. Answer When the temperature drops, bridges will freeze before roadways. Question 232, which of these is not required knowledge for drivers needing hazmat endorsement? Which products can be loaded together? When to use placards? Basic chemistry. Answer. Basic chemistry. Question 233. An en route inspection should include checking Tire temperature Cargo doors and, or cargo securement All of these should be checked Answer All of these should be checked Question 234. Which of these statements about tires and hot weather driving is true? The air pressure of a tire decreases as the temperature of the tire increases. If a tire is too hot to touch, you should drive on it to cool it off. You should inspect your tires every 2 hours or every 100 miles when driving in very hot weather. Answer. You should inspect your tires every 2 hours or every 100 miles when driving in very hot weather. Question 235. Which of these statements is true about brakes? Brake fade is not caused by heat. Brakes absorb more heat to stop heavier vehicles. Brake drums cool very quickly when the vehicle is moving very fast. Answer Brakes absorb more heat to stop heavier vehicles. Question 236 How do you calculate how many seconds of following distance space you have? Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark, then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot, then multiply your figure by 2. Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark, then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot. Divide your speed by 4 and add 1 second for every 10 feet of trailer you are hauling. Answer. Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark, then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot. Question 237. Optional safety equipment may include emergency phone numbers, tire chains, and Red reflective triangles Charged fire extinguisher Tire changing equipment Answer Tire changing equipment 
Question 238, what is the proper way to hold the steering wheel? Firmly with one hand at the top of the wheel and the other hand at the bottom of the wheel. With your right hand on the wheel. Firmly with both hands on opposite sides of the wheel. Answer. Firmly with both hands on opposite sides of the wheel. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.